What's going on everyone? Brett Darian here. Hope you're having an awesome Sunday. And today I just thought I'd show you a pretty cool accessory that you can get for your Samsung uh, Samsung Galaxy smartphone if you do have one. This is the Samsung Multimedia Dock. As you can see it's just a little small box. It's about the size of my hand. And it's got some pretty cool features with it. So let's take a look at it here real quick. We have, it's just a white box. And on the back here, we have USB power in, a 3.5 millimeter audio out jack, and HDMI out. And that's pretty cool, and I'll show you what that does here in a little bit. So you place it on your table, and you open up this lid, and here we have a USB port that you can use to set your phone in. So, First, we just have to hook it up, and I'll just do that here real quick. If you give me a minute. And the dock does come with a USB cable, so we just plug that right in. They are a little hard to get in. <laughs> and they are pretty tight. And then the HDMI in. And there we go. It's pretty simple. Alright, so there it is. It's all hooked up. So now, let's just take the phone, and then we just plug it in. Now, now one thing I will say, though, is that this USB port is kind of flimsy. It actually sits in this, like, recessed uh, plastic, and you can use it to kind of move your phone around as it's in there, but it is kind of flimsy. It seems like it'll break after a while. So do be careful when you're, you know, putting your phone in and taking it out. Do it very gently. And and you can tell this really wasn't made for, you know, taking it in and out repeatedly a bunch of times. So, you know, but still, just be careful with it. So there's the port on the bottom of your phone. And then you just stick it in there. And then it'll compensate with the dock has been... Uh, the dock is connected. And then you'll get this new home screen. Now let me go in here real quick and change something. There's no way it's not displayed like that. Here we go. Wait. <laughs> That's not what I wanted. There we go. Okay, so that's what it'll look like when you first insert it. This new home screen includes a clock and a calendar and a weather app that displays your current temperature in your nearest city and your and a couple of other apps you can use down here. And you can just and you can get back to your regular uh, you can get back to your regular home screen just by pressing this button up here and that'll take you right to your take you right to your uh, uh, your home page on your phone. So, one of the cool things you can do with this smart dock is you can actually output your phone screen using HDMI. So, we will do that right now. I have it connected to this monitor. So, we'll just simply switch inputs to HDMI. And there we go. There we go. It will display your screen right on your HDMI monitor or television whichever it works. Presumably in 1080p because this phone does output 1080p. So, uh, The Smart Dock will work with the, uh, uh, the Galaxy Note 2, the Note 3, the S3, and the S4, which is what I'm using right here. And the, uh, the S4 screen is 1080p, so I presume it's outputting 1080p on the screen. Okay, so one of the downsides about this, uh, this device is that, uh, you know, when you hook up of uh, this device using the HDMI, it'll output in this very small, uh, very small picture. Now you can still use it like this, and it'll be fine. But most will probably want to fill the screen and make it widescreen. So what you can do is you can go to the App Store, and you can download this app. It's called Rotate, and then it'll, and then it'll uh, let's see, and then it'll display this up here, and then you can just bring your menu down. And you can set it so that it will display in landscape mode, which is widescreen. Normally, it runs in portrait mode, which is what this is. But if you set it to landscape mode, then it'll flip here, and then it'll display properly on your widescreen 16 by 9 screen. And then there you go. You then have a full widescreen picture right on your television or your monitor. 
and so you can navigate uh, using the touch screen on your phone if you want you can still you know flip through the pages and you can you know go through you know use your phone like normal it will be kind of hard to do it this way because the screen is flipped over so you know it it be kind of weird but still though you can still browse Facebook and use your other apps just like this and it'll be fine now one of the cool things you can do with this is that you can actually use the USB ports here to connect a USB mouse, a USB keyboard and just sit them right here on your desk or something and just use it like a regular computer or a laptop and and yeah you can you don't need a laptop anymore you can just like use this you, use your smartphone as like a laptop and you can just use the uh, the the multimedia dock and use it like a computer so that that's pretty awesome uh, now I haven't done that yet I do not have those accessories but I'll probably invest in them soon you can just use any you know any keyboard will do any USB keyboard or mouse will do you can get one of the mobile mouses from Walmart or something and that'll work fine I'm sure okay so one of the things I want to do though and show oh which is pretty cool is you can also use this to play games for, uh, from your phone right on your television, which is pretty cool. Use like a game console. So these are the current games I have on this uh, phone right now, and you can see most of them are kind of you know uh, average. You know, uh, we got Ono, uh, uh, we got Uno, Family, uh, uh, Family Feud, and even Flappy Bird. But uh, the game I want to show though is Sonic 2. This is the Android version of Sonic 2. And this even has the uh, the, uh, the hidden power zone, which is previously unavailable, so that's pretty cool too. Now here, uh, here I have a Logitech F310 gamepad. Now these are really made for PCs. These are not Android gamepads, but we're going to try to use this with this multimedia dock and see what happens. So let's just plug it in real quick. Just goes in here like that. You put it in the right way. There we go. Okay, so the controller is plugged in, and at first it looks like nothing happens uh, because it doesn't pop up and say a gamepad or a controller has been connected or anything. It just just does, you know, it just does nothing. But if we use the D-pad, we do have some movement. We can navigate the screen using the d-pad and we can use it to select apps and there we go and it also works with the uh, the analog stick as well so that already is pretty neat and there we go and we can use the a button to select an app so like this is my twitter there we go. That's pretty cool. And then, it, you know, and we can use the B button to even back out. So it's like kind of using a game console. The, uh, it, it, you know, the buttons match up pretty well. So let's go to this game folder. Again, we can use the A button to select. And we can choose Sonic 2. And there you go. And it boots right up. This is very nice. So obviously, it's just mirroring the uh, uh, the uh, the phone screen right on your right on your monitor. And here we go. We have the Android version of Sonic the Hedgehog 2 playing right on your television, which is pretty awesome. So let's quickly do a little demo of this. Let me just press the A button. And there we go. So, of course, we can use the analog stick or the D-pad to navigate. We got two-player. We got achievements. We got leaderboards. We got time attack. So we can just press the A button to select. And this game, and this version of the game, also has a save feature. So that's very awesome. So. Uh, uh, let's quickly do my let's quickly resume my game that I was playing from the Chemical Zone, from Act Two. And so it plays pretty much like any uh, version of the game on console. You just use the D-pad to move around, 
and the analog stick to move around if you prefer, and the A button to jump, and the uh, the X button is also jump, and so is the Y button. It's kind of like a Genesis controller. And even the B button is jump, so any of these buttons can be used to jump. <laughs> and it still displays the on-screen control sticks, uh, so like if you... Uh, so like if you were using the touchscreen controls, this is what this is what it would do. You know, and you would use this to still move around with it as well. Uh, but that's pretty clunky. Uh, using the gamepad is definitely preferred because it's just a lot easier and a lot more practical. So if we just quickly try to go through this a little bit here, just try to do a little bit of gameplay. You know, I won't do very well because it's this is only one-handed. Just like any Sonic 2 game, you can play on the Genesis, so the graphics are a lot cleaner and everything, so that's awesome. You know, it definitely is cleaned up. And there you go, so you get the idea. The game plays just fine with the Logitech F310, and I presume it'll play just fine with the, uh, the F510 as well. I'm not sure about the F710 because that one's wireless. I presume it'll work just fine too, but I don't know. There might be some complications because it's wireless. I don't see what it would be though. Okay, so there you go. So the game works just fine uh, with the F310. You don't need an Android controller. You don't need an Android gamepad to play this game if you just use the multimedia dock. So that's pretty cool. Do you want to exit? Yes. And it takes you right back to your home screen. So there you go. That is pretty awesome. That's uh, this is the the Samsung Multimedia Dock. You can buy it on eBay for well, it costs like about a hundred dollars brand new, but you can find it on eBay for cheaper. You can find it for like uh, fifty bucks or even forty five or fifty. Uh, it's pretty. It's not too bad for all the stuff you get. And if you're going to use this, uh, you know. Uh, to play games on, or to listen to music, or watch videos on, you know, uh, to use it to use it on a bigger screen. It's pretty cool. So if you have a Samsung smartphone, and you think you would use a lot of this. Uh, I just got a text message. There you go. <laughs> yeah, so if you have a Samsung smartphone, and you think you would use this, I think it's a pretty cool investment. And it's pretty neat to have. Yeah, so there you go. That's my video on it. And I hope you all enjoyed, and this is Brad Deherian, so you all have a great one. See you next time, and thanks for watching.